I'm Noel Flynn with Medico Security Locks. Over the last 30 years, we've trained thousands of security professionals and law enforcement officers. With the recent media attention to the threat of key bumping, we feel the time has come to help home and business owners make a more informed decision regarding their security. It's the latest buzz on the internet and potential threat to home and business security spreading around the world through email and video. It's called key bumping, a way for anyone to break into your home or business in a matter of seconds without leaving any sign of forced entry. Is it a hoax? Unfortunately not and the majority of locks are actually vulnerable. With instructional videos all over the internet, the bad guys are learning that all you need to pick a lock is an inexpensive bump key and a plastic bumping tool. Bumping is typically accomplished through the use of a special key and some sort of device to transfer that kinetic energy into the lock. Now this key does not work. The bump key does not work as a normal key does. Uh, it will actually work in any pin tumbler lock because of the way it's modified when you apply the energy of bumping it with the bump key. The reality is locks come in all sizes, shapes, and security ratings. While locksmiths know key bumping has been around a long time, today's global information sharing is making it even easier, and they warn key bumping could become more prevalent. If you're using a $10 lock and key system, if you're using anything that's uh, your standard uh, residential grade, basically what those are, they're a contractor grade lock. If you want something that is truly going to protect your family and your possessions, you need to go with a high security lock. Typically inside of a standard pin tumbler lock, you've only got one point of locking, which is the tumbler pins. That can be easily defeated with kinetic energy by slamming something into those pins and separating them. Uh, high security locks, for instance, use multiple points of locking. Uh, not only do the pins have to separate, but they also have to rotate in order to interact with a sidebar mechanism, a slider mechanism, and uh, several other things in order to uh, unlock all at the same time. In, in essence, bumping takes advantage of a chaotic separation of tumbler pins, whereas high security locks are not susceptible to that chaos because each device or each different component operates in a different direction, and it's hard to transfer kinetic energy in three different directions at once. Law enforcement officials want people to be aware of key bumping. Since the technique leaves no evidence of tampering, it's difficult to figure out just how often it's to blame in break-ins. And for some property owners, this lack of evidence could even mean the denial of an insurance claim. That's why some home and business owners maintain it's best to just not take chances. There's also a justified fear of unauthorized key duplication. Security systems are a part of every business and uh, but from the locking systems, from the alarm systems and everything else associated with it and uh, you get what you pay for with security so uh, we don't use any inexpensive security, we, we put in good systems. Pete File owns a chain of restaurants. He's learned that a solid security plan is essential to protect his assets and his employees. His plan begins with high security locks on all of his properties. Our security plan is constantly evolving. Uh, we change it as the needs come around and as the technology changes. Certainly uh, there's a lot of things available in security systems today that were not available uh, 10 or 15 or 20 years ago and we update our system to maintain uh, currency with the latest technologies. And in addition to using high security locks to help counter the threat of key bumping, there are other security steps home and business owners can take to protect their property. It should begin with a serious survey of your surroundings to determine just how secure they really are. Well, as we were looking at this residence earlier, notice the shrubs out here, they're cut way back, which is a good thing. Um, we encourage people, if they do have high shrubbery, to make sure that it's trimmed down. That will, will help in keeping people from hiding in, in spots like that. Um, also, uh, at nighttime, uh, if you're out for the evening, make sure you leave a light on or have it on a timer. Uh, that will deter uh, criminals from uh, coming up 
to the residents if they see lights on. Safety experts also recommend motion detecting outdoor lighting and keeping all entryways well lit. Always put your mail and newspaper on vacation hold when you're away. And don't forget to check your windows, another potential area of vulnerability. Uh, you don't want to have things blocking the windows, uh, you know, anything that would prevent uh, you from seeing somebody outside if you look out. Um, Make sure that, you, especially your lower windows, that you have like double locks, uh, uh, safety locks on your windows because you don't want them pried open. The bottom line, everyone must be proactive when it comes to security. It's not something that you want to experience. It's not something that you want to wait until it happens before you react. A high security lock can be a solution to the key bumping threat. But probably the best advice we can offer is for home and business owners to discuss their security needs with a professional locksmith. Another source of credible information is the National Crime Prevention Council.